And this morning I was watching, uh, a lot. I haven't finished watching it, I started watching a video from Ephemeris Vintage Garden, I think it is, and I'll put a link to it in the description box below to that particular video that I was watching. that and she was making some tuck spots there we go so there's two of those and two of those for each of our um, things she was making some tuck spots and so I quickly just got my scrap I have like little folders like this, a couple of little folders. And they have scrap things in from previous journals, anything that might have been left over. And I had these pieces of file folder in there left over. So I got those, I got one out and just cut, they were squares actually, but I've just cut them into triangles for some corner tucks, I thought. Um, Okay, that looks about right, doesn't it? And she was using tickets. Now, I don't have tickets, but I, I have this, which is a roll of tickets, and I have scrap paper. So I've put some onto a piece of scrap paper, and I've cut one off. And she was making corner tucks, and she was just putting a ticket on one side and a circular object and a... Um, she was making them out of postcards, old postcards. And I thought, oh, I have this stamp that I haven't really used yet. This is from Queen of Craft. It's called Antique Postmark. I could use that. She was using a bit of lace. So I can get a bit of lace. I guess. Here we go. Just a bit like a scrap of lace. So let's get a, a scrap of lace. Put that there like that, I guess. Yep, that'll do fine. I'll post that and she did have stamps. I think I've got stamps. I'm trying to think where I have stamps. They would have. Um... Although I don't have to use stamps at all, but I was just going to do it the way she did it. So let's get this. It's always nice to try something up other people have done sometimes, isn't it? Okay, so one there. One there. One more. One there. Like that. They don't have to be, you know, directly straight. Okay, let's try that. Stamp thing, put that away. She also had a bit of fabric. I've got one of these strips here left. I suppose that could work if I cut four squares. One, two, Three. <laughs> Might 
other one a bit more mesh actually for so that's that that don't know what I'm going to use for the circles, but just let me see if I can find my stamps. Okay. What have we got? Yeah. Oh, I wonder, instead of a circle, maybe I could use a butterfly. That's thought, isn't it? That might look pretty. It's different. There's some butterflies in here. Two. Three. There's only three with a white edge, but there's that one as well, so I can use that one. Okay, so that's... What else would I... Was, I was looking for stamps, wasn't I? Do I have any stamps in here? I do have tickets. They're rather dark though. They're a bit too dark. Oh, here we go. Stamps. They're beer stamps. <laughs> but these stamps, they're really quite big. So I'm not sure how that would... You know, they're far too big. Because in the olden days, of course, they used to have small stamps. Maybe I don't need to use stamps at all. Or maybe I can, but I don't need to, you know, I can just layer it like. That's a yellow ticket, so maybe we need a different colour butterfly on that one. So, what else have we got? Um, that one. I will have to cut them down a little bit. That one. And one more. Let's see another flower one. There's a flower one here. So. Okay. that's that and this is just a large folder I have that I made and I've got um, what are they called you know the paper <laughs> oh my goodness these plastic things with holes at the side I've joined them at the top with some tape and put they've all got slits in them and stitched that was an idea of Femra Storage by Artsology. I think it's Deb. Um, I got that idea from, or she did very similar, and I got the idea and did it my way. I'm, it, I've had this for a long time now, so I don't know if hers is exactly the same as this, but that's where that idea came from. Um, okay. So I don't think we, oh, we could use this stamp. We could. I don't know how I got on to making these. I was making bows, wasn't I? It's because I was watching a video. Um, let's have a look. Let's stick that down. It could, uh, I wonder if I, it doesn't matter which way it goes really, does it? Not really. I could just do that. We'll see how it turns out. That's all I can do. <clears throat> so it's inspired by the video, but it's not the same.
We might just see how it turns out first, shall we? Like that. How's that going like that? You know, I don't think that's going to work. It just, I need something bigger. Um, kind of bring the colours in just a minute. boa that's hanging on the back of my door and every so often I cut pieces off so I think maybe that will be what I use and it's pink uh, maybe I can scrunch it a little bit Now I'm debating whether I should maybe I'll put flowers on instead of the butterflies. I they just don't seem to sit well. Let's have a look. Put the butterflies back. As much as I love butterflies, I'm sure I've got flowers I can use. I have these lovely calling card images. I don't know where I got those. Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? Two of that one. Uh, do I have another? Another one going that way. Oh, here we go. That one is and there and there. That might work better. Let me see. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, okay, we'll go for the calling cards but what I might do very carefully oh, is just I don't want the start work that stuck white that much so I'll just go around it a bit I think Yeah, it just takes that whiteness off and that may work quite nicely instead of the butterfly. So I think that's what I'll do and I'll come back and show you when they're all finished.
for these larger images here I've just got two pieces of the tool I'm slightly overlapping it and I'm going to just stitch it on there and I'll I'll just do that and then I'll show you what it looks like so I've just used the same thread that I already had in the machine just to keep things simple and I've just zigzagged over where I've joined them both together like that that way I can pop that on like that I don't really see the stitching at all then but I get a bit of the tool at the top there and a little bit down the bottom as well now that that's done we can get back to what I was going to do and that is the decoupage paper wasn't it so I want one of the see I had it I wonder where, where it was I tried it out I don't think there because I've got the doily there that paper's a bit too flimsy Look, that is the centre one, so I can't have it on the centre one. Um, oh, I suppose it, oh no, that one's already better. I think that'll have to go on this one here, which will be like that. So let me just stitch that on. And I'll do that on a straight stitch. Okay, so that's like a little tuck spot there now. And I could could um, use one of the, if I can find it under all my stuff that I've got going back here now. Uh, they're under here somewhere. Let's just move all this. I need that. Let me scrap this so. thing. Okay, here we go. This sort of thing can be added to that as well. Perhaps not the same colour, maybe one in a different colour. Where are they all? They're hiding now. Here's a blue one. There. So I could put a bit of that on there if I wanted to. If I wanted to. Or bow. Not sure I want to put something like that on there. A bow or... Oh. I could put a bow on there, I think, and I think that's what I might just do, but I might do it, I just had, I had a thought, let's, that one, so I might just, um, One there. Oops. One there.
Looking for another red one. Is that one? Okay. Keep those those on there. And the other one. And more of a brown colour than red. I could put that there like that and I could tie something or hang a dangle or something on that and it still works perfectly well. So tuck spot. So that's what I'll do with that one and we might as well find a spot for one of these while we're at it. Hey. That one there, that would look all right. Let's... I have that one there in that corner. Um, <coughs> like. Like that, I think. All right, so And then this one, can go like this. And we'll make tags to go in all these places. So that's what that looks like. Like that. So that's that one. I feel like half of that is missing. Oh, it is. <laughs> Goes in there, like that. And then the second one. That still needs doing. We're going to have that there. So we're wanting this. Oh, it could go on there. That could look pretty. I think that would look nice. Um, because that is almost the centre, isn't it? So we could put that one there, I think. And I could, I might be able to just stitch that on. I think. I think I will. Uh, yeah, I can stitch that on. Okay. So 
like that, some there, like that. And then I've got that on there, like that. Maybe we could put that one. Where's it gone? Oh, it's disappeared. Where's that? Oh, here. <laughs> that. What's on there? Maybe this. I can go up the top like that because that's only plain lace on the side there so it's not going to be over the top with it so either on the top it doesn't have to be flush I could lift that up a little bit as well like that and have it on there and that ends up being a tuck spot there okay I'll stitch that on that's that and I think I will add something to that at a later stage, maybe an applique piece or something. I think that would be nice. So we've got that that you can tuck, but you can still write. And that one where you can tuck, but still write as well. Um, and... <laughs> like I've oh, got the hiccups again You could put little flowers out of the same um, piece as that as well. So I will definitely be putting some, making some flowers out of the scraps. So we'll just put that to the side and keep on task. <laughs> so that's that one. And I will do the same to the other one. Now that, I feel like that needs a picture on it. And I also, I might put some tissue paper over the back of that, to be honest, just to add a little bit of interest, like um, sewing paper. That gives it that old look, but it also adds a bit of texture as well. So I think I will decoupage some tissue paper on there. Yes. Okay, so I'll go do that and then I'll be back. I've decided not to decoupage the tissue paper on the back of the printed um, papers simply because I did try it. And do you see how it's run? The green has all run. Um, that's the other side of it there and although I like that and the feel of it I don't like how it made this paper run so I had to replace one of the pages um, and that's the drawback of digitals I think that's that's one of the 
little things about digitals unless you've got one of those printers that mm. it's you know it's um it's there's a word for it where the ink won't run but mine like I said before I just have a basic printer and this is the problem I get if printables get wet or too much glue or something like that even though I didn't put any glue on this side it's seeped through so that's something to keep in mind so I'm not going to I carry on with that I did I did three pages this one I replace the other two I can get away with so just to keep in mind I may cut pieces of this out though and be able to use them in the journal what I'm going to do now so what I did anyway was I stenciled a couple let me just show you like that one's got fabric on it but there's um this is the one I replaced that one was there see and it was just too green too it looked runny so I replaced it with one of these and I have stenciled on the other side of it and kind of just inked around like that with the what's the color of it a vintage photo distress ink then I've put one of a piece of the decoupaged paper that I did before as a pocket and that runs all the way along there so I'll have a pocket there and a pocket there so that's how I combated that I have used the green thread going around and that adds a bit of color and I will probably put something here anyway probably end up covering that um, man there so that's that uh, and I think that's the only one isn't it oh I did go ahead and also um, I put an eyelet in the top of this little flip thing as well 